Family Theater presents Jimmy Stewart and Gene Kelly. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents Jimmy Stewart in Susie's Prayer Ball. And now to introduce the drama, your host, Gene Kelly. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. I can already hear the crackle of Cracker Jack and the clink of soda pop bottles as a sort of background for our drama. You see, our story is a simple one. A story of a child's faith, a woman's love, and a man's stubborn pride. And this is also a story of spring. Spring when a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love, well, not always. For for young men of six to sixty, spring means one thing. We strike, you're out! Baseball! We call our story Susie's Prayer Ball. Cream, dear? Yeah, thanks. Oh, the sun feels good. It's so wonderful to be in Florida again. Yeah, good old St. Pete. Oh, Red, please. Well, how do you expect me to feel, Helen? Four weeks of spring training, I haven't even pitched a single inning. But you would pitch, dear, if you'd sign your contract. Oh, for the last time, Helen, I'm not taking a 25% cut. We managed on less than $50,000 when we were first married, Red. A lot less. Yeah, we were in the Cotton Stage League then, Helen. $125 a month. And we were happy. That was before I'd won over 20 games, eight seasons in a row, before I pitched the Jays for four pennants, before I won seven World Series but games. But the Jays didn't win the pennant last year, Red. Or the year before. Well, is it all my fault? I'm not throwing for peanuts, Helen, and that's fine. But, dear, you won only seven games last year, 11 the year before. Yeah. Look, whose side are you on, Helen? Lewis's or mine? On yours, Red, of course. Morning, oh, Daddy. Oh, hi, Susie. Did I dress myself nice, Mommy? Very nice, dear. What's the matter, Daddy? Nothing, nothing, baby. She, you don't look happy. Susie, uh, Daddy has a lot on his mind. You better start for the beach. The beach? What if, what'd you have to go down there again? It's so far away from home. I lost something there yesterday, Daddy. My baseball and mitt. Oh, oh, is that all? Look, uh... You're a little girl, Susie. You, you don't need a ball and glove. They're for little boys. Are you a little boy, Daddy? Uh, no, no, no. You have a pitcher's mitt and lots of balls. No, but that's different, Susie. That's how I earn our living. I want to be just like you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, you do, huh? Well, I'll uh, tell the skipper about you. No beach, understand? I've got to go, Daddy. I know I'll find them. I prayed I would. Last night and this morning, too. As well, to find that ball and glove would take more than just a prayer, Susie. That beach is over two miles long. Red, some of the other children are going with her. It's all right, Susan. You can go to the beach. Only cross the streets with the lights. I'll look both ways. Now, Helen, I, I don't but like the But there's hardly any traffic, Red, and she won't be alone. Now, run along, Susan. Be home for lunch. Yes, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. So long, Susie. <laughs> Helen, we've... We've talked about this before, but I, I don't want Susie thinking about baseball so much. She's a little girl. Of course she's a little girl. You're a little girl. How can she help thinking about baseball? And another thing, I've, I've made it quite clear before that I don't want Susie believing that all she has to do is pray for something and then the miracles start popping. It's believing in f finding lost baseballs with one magic prayer. It's you know? a beginning. 
Susie has faith she'll find her ball and mitt. So she's not too unhappy about it. Faith is a good friend, Red. Faith in anything. Well, how about you having faith in me? Oh, that's not fair, Red. It's because I do have faith in you that, that I'm not worried about your salary cut. Just you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I better get started for the park. I want to talk to Lois today. Good luck, dear. Hold the temper, huh? For me? Okay. Okay, for you. I'll see you after practice, huh? <laughs> hey. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> hey. Hey, you've been fighting. Yes. Well, what's it all about, Susie? I don't want to tell Daddy. Now, look here. Now, little girls aren't supposed to fight, especially when they have no reason. Okay, Daddy, punish me. Susie, I don't want to punish you, but please tell me. Wh what were you fighting about? Timmy said... Timmy said what? He said you weren't a good pitcher anymore. Oh. No, he did, did he? He said his daddy said you were too old. Yeah. Daddy, what's your fast one? My fast one? His daddy said you lost it. Uh-huh. Daddy, we're not going to move to the bushes, are we? Mm, no, no, Susie. No, we're not going to the bushes. Good. I'm scared of the bushes. Did you ever live in the bushes, Daddy? Yes, yeah, Susie, long time ago. That was before you were born. I was born in New York, wasn't I? That's right, yeah. We aren't ever going to leave New York, are we, Daddy? No, not yet, Susie. But don't you worry about it, and don't fight anymore. Promise? I promise, Daddy. I have to get back to the park. And have fun at the beach. Bye, Daddy. And I hope you find it. Well, find what? The fast thing you lost. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, dear. I, I hope you find your ball and glove. Morning, Miss Lewis. Morning, Skipper. Morning, Red. Hiya, Red. How's the flipper feel? Better than ever. I just wish I could fire some through in a game. Oh, I can't put you in until you sign, Red. You know that. Well, yeah, but you've been seeing me throwing, Skip. Well, can't you tell Mr. Lewis I look good? Oh, I like to see my ball players get every cent they can, Red, but I'm just the manager. I have nothing to say about contracts. The ball club has given you every break, Red. Paid your expenses these last four weeks to see what you've got. What I've got? Well, you've been watching what I got for the last 12 years. The best fastball on the majors. Oh, now, come on, now. Take it easy, Red. We can only judge by last season's records. Now, what do you say to a 10% cut? We have to cut some so the other players won't squawk. How about it, Red? Well, I... I, I don't know. I, all right. Okay, okay, that's a deal. I'll suit up right away. I'll show you the old arms still got plenty of stuff left. That's the way to talk, Red. And I, I'm, I'm sorry I got hot, Mr. Lewis. My wife told me not to. <laughs> How about two, maybe three innings against this minor league outfit today? Get you ready to pitch Sunday against the Braves. Swell, Skipper. Stick around today, Mr. Lewis. Old Red will show you a trick or two. So the bushes are riding you. Don't let it get you, Red. Just don't worry about it, Mike. Just sit back there and call the signals. Call what signals? How can I see what you got? There hasn't been a pitch get by the batter yet. You don't need a catcher anymore, Red. Just an extra outfielder. You just save that for the locker room, will you, wise guy? Look, Red, why not throw a wrinkle? That fast one's pure murder. I'll pitch my own game, Mike. Okay, okay. Have it your way, Red. Who do those guys think they're talking to anyway? I've been their meal ticket for 10 years. Yeah, look at that bum up at the plate. I'll blow him down so hard, Mike will go through the backstop. All right, now come on, old arm. Let's show him some real steam. Okay, Redhead, you better let Lefty take over. Well, it's the first time out, Skip. Let me get warm. Save Where? it, Red. Save it for Sunday. Okay, Skip. Take a walk to the hot shower and forget it. Ah, 
Hi, hi there, Miss Red. Here, here, let me take your shirt, sir. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Hey, it was kind of hot out there today. Yes, sir. Too hot for old folks like us, Mr. Red. Yeah, much too hot. What, uh, old folks? Oh, <laughs> I just a kidding, Mr. Red. Mm, hey, this here shirt's ringing wet. I'll, I'll put it in the dryer. I've been doing this lots of years, Mr. Red. Now, uh, we've got lots of years left, Charlie, both of us. Yes, uh, <laughs> you bet, Mr. Red. Yeah, we got a lot of memories, too. Never forget the day you pitched that series game against the Cardinals. Shut him out on two hits going away. Yeah. Struck out 14. Yes, sir. Yeah. 14. Swish, swish, yeah. swish. <laughs> uh, I seen them all play, Mr. Red. Yes, sir. Grove, Earnshaw, Gomez, Hubble, Dizzy Dean. But, uh, but that, that was the greatest game I ever seen pitched. <laughs> Seemed like yesterday. Yeah, seven years of yesterday, Charlie. Seven years. Well, was it that long ago? Yeah, yeah, seven years. Boy, I can't forget that day. Susie was born during the fifth inning. <laughs> my, my, my. How the years run around them bases. Yeah. Little Miss Susie, seven. You know, she lost a tired old ball and glove down at the beach yesterday, Charlie. It's broken hearted about it. Down there again today, combing the sand until she finds it. <laughs> I bet it was a pitcher's glove, just like a daddy's. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how about getting under the shower, Mr. Red, before that the arm gets too cold, huh? All right, Charlie. Good long rub down then, huh? Keep this old rubber arm in there pitching. Yes, sir, Mr. Red. But you'll still be in there pitching long after that arm stops. <laughs> well, I, I haven't learned to hold the ball on my toes yet, Charlie. Oh, 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 now, you know what I mean, Mr. Red. Like they always say, a sure enough good ball player don't need a good arm or a good bat. Just so long as he's got a good head and a good heart. Is that all you're going to eat, Red? Yeah, I guess I'm not hungry. Daddy, come into the living room. I want to show you what I've been doing. Okay, darling. Oh, she's ready for bed, dear. Would you tuck her in for me after you see what she wants? Yeah, uh, help you with the dishes? Oh, no, thanks. Can't have my pitcher tiring his arm. Okay, coach, okay. How about that? What do they expect first time out of no hitter? Look, Daddy. Well, what do what you got here? A map of the beach, see? The crayon part is the part we cover today. Well, what do you know about that? A female Captain Kidd, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Here's where we'll go tomorrow. I know I'll find my ball in that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, sure you will. <laughs> Did you find your fast one, Daddy? No, not today, Susie. Tonight I'll pray we both find them tomorrow. You pray the same thing, Daddy. Well, it isn't that easy, Susie. You know, you're a big girl now, and you... And... You do believe in praying, don't you, Daddy? Well, I... I... Mommy said you did. Your mother said that? Uh-huh. She said that down deep underneath you did, only you didn't talk about it out loud. Uh, well, sometimes Mommy gets a little mixed up about things like that. C come on, Dizzy. Now, off to bed with you. Right? Here, sure, sure. Up we go. <laughs> there we are. Hey, you look more like a bunny than a pitcher in those pajamas, Susie. <laughs> Better get off and hop. <laughs> You're funny, Daddy. Have uh, you been all checked out for the night sport? Yes, Daddy. Teeth, hands, and all. Fine. All right, good night, sweetheart. Sleep tight. I haven't said my prayers yet, Daddy. Oh, oh. Will you say them with me? Mommy always does. Well, Daddy will listen, honey. You, you say them. Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Please, God, bless Mommy and Daddy and me and everybody. And please help me find my ball and glove tomorrow. And help my daddy find what he lost, too. And God, I'm sorry I hit Timmy. Amen. Good night, Daddy. Good night, baby. Red, Mike is here. Hiya, Redhead. Hi, Mike. Sit down. I uh, came over to talk to you, Red. Yeah, I know about blowing up this afternoon. I'm sorry. Those bushers hit me plenty, didn't they? I, it just got to me. Yeah. Yes, don't you worry, boy. You know, catchers don't have earned run averages. No, no I, I was thinking, Red, the 
The Braves Sunday will be a lot tougher in those bushes. So will the Red Sox. Sure they will. I beat them all a lot of times, Mike. Do you know how many times? I got a record book, Red. Can you name any other pictures beaten so often? A couple, but they're not pitching anymore. All right, for the last Red, time... Mike is trying to help you. All right, out with it, Mike. Well, maybe Sunday we might try something a little different. Like what? You never used it change your pace much, Red, but I was thinking... You're thinking that maybe you'd tell me how to pitch, huh? Red, please, Mike's your friend. Okay, so he's my friend. Why shouldn't he be? Who's kept him up there all these years? Red, stop it. So you helped Mike get his break, but now he's one of the best catchers in the league. You gotta listen to me, Red. You just can't blow him in anymore. Yeah, well, I know how much stuff I'm throwing at that dish. You don't understand. The fast one isn't coming in with the old whammo anymore. It just hangs like your curve. Mike, look, you're paid to catch what I throw. The skipper gives me the word, and he's happy, and so's Lewis. They gave you the contract, Red, because they're not planning to pay the freight. What do you mean, Mike? Just what I said. They're going to sell Red's contract to St. Louis. To St. Louis? Are you certain? Martin of St. Louis will be in the stand Sunday to see what shape Red's in. St. Louis has a couple of young pitchers, and the skipper wants them. But well, they'd have to cough up big dough to buy me, the really big dough. It'd be worth it to them, Red. St. Louis isn't going anywhere near the pennant this year, and you're a big name, a big draw. So they think I'm washed up. I'll sell me down the river. Well, I'll show them Sunday. I'll blow that fast one by the brave so fast. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You can't blow it by him. Red, you were gifted with an arm that could throw like a rocket, but the juice is all gone. What do you mean it's all gone? Did you ever think how many times you cocked that arm in 15 years, thrown with all your might? Mike may be right, Red. An arm can stand just so much. Yeah, you're just like all the rest of them, aren't you? Oh, Red. They're your I... friends when you're a winner. I didn't come here tonight to gloat, Red. I came to suggest... So you came, so now get out. Okay. Good night, Helen. Uh, I'll see you to the door, Mike. Daddy, may I... Okay, I put you to bed, Susie. What the devil are you doing up now? I wanted a drink, Dad. Well, you should have thought of that before. Now, get in bed, will you? Okay, Daddy. Just let me take my map of the beach to bed Oh, with blast me. your map. Now, get back to bed. Do you hear me? Get into bed! Mr. Lewis. Oh, hello, Red. Well, how's the arm? My arm's fine. Good. You've got to be ready to go against the Braves tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Pretty important I pitch tomorrow, huh? Well, the skipper would like to see you work before we head north. Sure, sure. I uh, see Martin of St. Louis up in St. Pete. wonder what he's doing around here. Oh, sometimes they hit on a lucky deal. You know how it is, Red. Yeah, yeah, I know how it is, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, I know just how it is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Miss Red. Uh, Miss Red, wait up, wait uh, up. All right, Charlie, just going home? Hey, Miss Red, <laughs> look at what I found in the locker room. A little mitt and a little baseball. Just about Miss Susie's size. I don't know how they got there, but you might just as well take them. You, you don't know how, how they got there? Huh? No, yeah. sir. <laughs> I just can't imagine. You just can't imagine. <laughs> Funny, Charlie, you know, you're, you're looking more like a Boy Scout every day. Yeah. Me? Oh, Mr. Red. <laughs> the only Boy Scout I ever done was for boys with big bats and strong arms. Mommy! Yes. Mommy, look what I found in my room. By my map. A brand new ball and mitt. Oh, my goodness, and those are much nicer than your old ones. They're super. And honest, Mommy, I didn't ask for a new ball and mitt, just that I find my old ones. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe the prayer was so good, Susie, that God thought you deserved a new ball and glove just because you're such a nice girl. Do you think so, Daddy? Do you think so, Mommy? Yes, Susan. I'm sure your prayer was answered. May I go out and play with it now, please? Sure, Susie. Go ahead. I wonder how the ball and glove got there. Well, you're the one who believes in prayer, huh? I believe in lots of things, Red. Well, I better get back to the park. How do you feel? You're so restless last night. Yeah, well, I'm okay. Want anything else to eat? Mm, not until after the game. I'll, I'll see you then, Helen. Red? Yeah? I love you very much. Thank you, dear. Daddy. Bye, Puckin. 
play catch with me before you go? No, no, no. After the game, Susie. Just for a minute, Daddy. With my new balls and gloves. No, all right, all right. Now, just for a minute. You stand over there. Throw it. Oh. Oh, no, no. Uh, catch it with the glove, not your face, Susie. <laughs> you can throw it harder, Daddy. I'll catch it. Hey. Hey, you're pretty good for a seven-year-old. Think so, Daddy? Really? Oh, oh. Whoa, over your head. Sorry, Susie. I'm not used to throwing it so easy. I got it. Throw it again. Whee! Hey. Hey, what the... Susie, give me that ball back. In... Okay. How do you make the ball spin like that, Daddy? I... I... Here. Here now, Susie. Now, now, now catch. That's funny. You're doing tricks with the ball. Give me that ball again, honey. And, and, and get out of the way. Where are you throwing it, Daddy? Right against the garage. I... I want to see what happens when I throw it harder, like this. It almost rolled back to us. Here, Daddy. Yeah, and yeah, I give it to me again. Here, now I'll try. What in heaven's name are you doing? Daddy was doing tricks with my ball, Mommy. Well, this isn't our garage, Red. I'm sorry, honey. Is something wrong with the ball, Daddy? You're looking at it so funny. I was just looking at my fingers, Susie. Oh, your fingers? Red, what is it? No, no, don't worry, Helen. They're, they're all there. Yeah. Here, I'm, 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 I'm late. I'll see you after the game. Tough luck, Red. Yeah. Hey, uh, Spence, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that catch. Sure, Red. Hey, Red, the Braves nicked you for four hits and two runs in that frame. Maybe Clark better pitch next inning. What, you take me out between innings? They hit you in the first inning like they owned you, Red. If Spence hadn't made that circus catch, the last one would have been a four-run homer. Call it a day. Yeah, so you can have the newspapers a good excuse for selling me down the river. I don't have to make excuses, Red, and I give the orders. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. I'm going to pitch, and I'm going to shove this ball right down your throat, and I'm starting open day just like I did 11 years. Nothing could make me happier, Red. Okay, you can pitch. But get in trouble and out you come. Don't wait for the trouble, Skipper. Red, all I want is a pennant. I don't care who does the throwing. Just so they do it right. At the bottom of the first, no runs, one hit, no errors. One man left on base for the Panthers. Let's go. Come on, Redhead. I'm coming. Throw them low, Red, at their knees. Okay, Mike. I'll show them. That one can kick the Redhead around. So the Skipper wants a pennant this year. Well, Big Red and his fastball will get it for him. Okay, sucker. Get up there and take your three cuts. The old high, hard, fast one. Uh, well, that is a lucky hit if I ever saw one. Just closed his eyes, stuck out his bat. Get that old man out of there before his infielders get killed. Yeah, wise guy, huh? All right, watch this blower. <laughs> I can't understand it, Mike. I'm throwing as hard as I ever did. They're killing me. You've been shaking off every curve I've called, Red. Use your head, not your arm. I'll, I'll get out of this jam. Okay, keep throwing it in there for him. One more hit and the skipper will take you out, and then you'll be through, really through. Hey, Mike. Yeah? Mike, I'm going to try something new. It's like a change-up, only, only different. Screwball, sinker, slider? No, none of those. A sort of a prayer ball. Prayer ball? Yeah, just, just call it Susie's prayer ball. Susie's prayer ball? What's the matter? You out of your head? Play ball, you guys! Just give me a target, Mike. Okay, Redhead. Good luck. Well, all right, this is it, boy. Throw this one wrong and you're finished. No second chance, no opening day, no pennant. Just the bushes. Now, Susie's scared of the bushes. <coughs> oh. Pop up! Get it, Smitty! Good boy! Red, what is that pitch? It floats up there like it's drunk. It's just something Susie taught me, Mike. Oh, one out last of the ninth, and we're leading three to two. Oh, I'm getting old. I just can't take these finishes anymore, Jeff. Oh, you're all right, Skip. So's Red. Two scratch singles since the second inning. Boy, he's really found himself. Yeah, uh, two more out. Just two more, Redhead! Yeah, Skipper? All right, just two more. All right, I'll keep it low. 
keep it low, make him hit it into the dirt. A double play. Get two. Short. Second. First double play. Great game. Great, great game. Thanks, Skipper. Finally thrown with your head high. You look great. We'll pitch you once going north, then opening day against the Red Sox. The change-up will drive him crazy. Where did you get it, Red? It just wings up there like it's riding on a... On a prayer, Mike. On a prayer. Daddy, you do believe in praying, don't you? Yeah, Susie. Yeah. I believe. I believe. This is Gene Kelly again. Take me out to the ball game. Yes, good old baseball is every fellow's hobby, mine too. But I've added another, my library. There's something wonderful about a library in your home. No, I don't mean collector's items or first editions, but friendly books. Books that become dog-eared from fond handling and warm companionship. Books that grow better with reading and rereading. Yes, that's the wonderful thing about a library. It's selective. You can choose as companions all the best minds of every age. Some of them at will. Aristotle, Shakespeare, Socrates, Cicero, Dante, or Milton will share your quiet smoke. You can listen while George Washington bids farewell to his troops, or hear Abe Lincoln teach the true meanings of democracy. Yes, a library is selective. You can choose your friends, and they will give you help and counsel and many wise words. But even more selective is prayer. By prayer, we invite God into our homes. He is the bidden guest. We speak to him and hear his answers in our hearts. We tell him our troubles and get his guidance. Books have much wisdom, and heaven knows we need wisdom in our times. But by prayer, we go directly to the fount of wisdom. For God is wisdom uncreated. So Family Theater again reminds you, the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you Jimmy Stewart in Susie's Prayer Ball. Gene Kelly was your host. Others in the cast were Gene Bates, Ann Whitfield, Herb Rawlinson, Ralph Moody, Charles Seal, Ray Hike, Howard Culver, and Bill Klein. The script was written by Callie Curtis and Dick Stenger, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of Family Theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home, and inviting you to join us next week at this same time when Family Theater will present Charles Ruggles and Arthur Lake in General Pumpkin's Holiday. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network, the Mutual Broadcasting System. Thank you.